Welcome to this tutorial module on finding information in the Biosafety Clearinghouse. In this module, you will learn how to search for information through the Finding Information section and be familiarized with the common features of its pages. The main page of the Finding Information section contains a welcome message and a list of the information available, which is divided into two groups. The left-hand group lists categories of national records. This information is submitted by governments as mandated by Article 20 of the Protocol. The right-hand group lists categories of reference records. This information is submitted by general BCH registered users. Both groups of information also appear in the left-hand menu. To access a searchable database of interest, click on the link either on the main page or in the left-hand menu. By clicking on a category of information underneath the Compiled Information heading, you will access a list of information rather than a searchable database. This link, for example, allows you to access compiled lists of all national focal points under the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety. Each list is updated weekly. Back to the Finding Information page. If you know the ID number of a BCH record, you can directly access it by entering the number here and clicking on the Go button. If you click on a link, either on the main page or in the left-hand menu, you will go to the relevant search page. Let's use the National Context database as an example. This page provides some fields to define a search. You may use one or more fields. However, the more fields you use, the more specific the search results will be. If you wish to access all of the records in the database, Click on the Browse All Records button at the bottom of the search page. Otherwise, when you have selected your search criteria, click on one of the Search Now buttons that appear both at the top and at the bottom of the search page. On the search pages, most fields contain predefined terms or controlled vocabulary to narrow your search. To access this controlled vocabulary, click on one of the blue arrows and a drop-down menu will appear from which you can select from a choice of terms. Other fields, like for example keyword search, do not contain controlled vocabulary and allow you to directly type the information you wish to search for. When searching fields containing controlled vocabulary in drop-down menus, you can select multiple terms by using the function Allow Multiple Selections, indicated by the green arrow to the right of the field. When you click the Allow Multiple Sections arrow, the field expands and the controlled vocabulary appears in a small window instead of a drop-down menu. The list is usually longer than what is visible in the window, and so a scroll-down vertical bar is provided on the right-hand side of the window. When in this mode, you may select multiple entries by holding down the Control key, which is at the bottom left corner of your keyboard. If you are using a Windows operating system, use the Apple key if you are using a Macintosh operating system. By way of example, we will search the BCH and the Cartagena Protocol national focal points of the Bahamas, Barbados, and Belize. Click on the green arrow beside the Select a Country field, and the list of countries will appear in a small window. Use the scroll down vertical bar until you reach Bahamas and click on it. 
Scroll down to Barbados. Hold down the control key on your keyboard and click on it. Repeat the same for Belize. Now the three countries will be highlighted. Next, click on the green arrow beside the Type of National Contact field and a list of categories to choose from will appear in another small window. Click on Biosafety Clearinghouse Focal Point. Hold down the control key on your keyboard. Click on Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety National Focal Point and the two categories will be highlighted. Click on the Search Now button to retrieve your results. Some fields are common to many search pages. Geographical areas, day record, and keyword search are the most common. In geographical areas, you may select one or more countries or one or more country groups, but not both fields in the same search. When searching by date of record, you may select a time interval that will narrow the search from the last day to the last year. In searching by keyword, you may type one or more words in the field and separate them with AND or OR. Note that keyword searches are only effective if you know the exact word or words you are looking for. Variations upon words or use of synonyms will not retrieve the desired results. For example, if you enter corn, records containing the word maize may not be retrieved. Let's now explore a different feature which is active on some of the search pages. We will move to the search page for countries decisions and other communications by clicking on the link in the left hand menu. On this page, if you click on the drop down menu for the type of living modified organisms field, the list that appears is a set of additional filters rather than controlled vocabulary. By selecting one of these filters, or more than one if you use the multiple selection option, additional search fields will appear from where you may further narrow your search by adding one or more additional criteria. For example, let's say you want to find all of the decisions available in the BCH on maize that has been genetically modified with insect-resistant traits. Click on the green arrow beside the Type of Modified Organisms field. A window listing all the available search filters will open. Click on Filter by introduced or modified traits. Hold down the control key on your keyboard and click on Filter by parental organism, common name. The two filters selected will be highlighted and two new fields will appear below. Scroll down the menu of the Introduced or Modified Traits field and click on Insect Resistance. Scroll down the menu of the Parental Organism Common Name field and click on Maze. Click on the Search Now button to retrieve your results. There are some features in the Finding Information section that help the user to cross-reference a record with other records in different categories. To understand how this works, 
let's go to the search page for LMOs, genes and organisms. Click on the arrow beside the Registries field. Select LMO Unique Identifiers Registry, LMO UIDs, from the drop-down menu and click the Search Now button. The results page shows all the LMO records contained in this database. By selecting a record on the list, the LMO information will appear. You will notice that there are three tabs at the top of the record. The one highlighted contains information on the selected LMO. If you click on the Decisions on the LMO tab, a table will list all of the countries that have taken a decision on this specific LMO. A green square box with an eye on it provides a link to the decision and marks the nature of the decision in the table. Domestic use for food, feed, or processing import for food, feed, or processing, environmental release, and other. In some cases, you will see that classification is pending and the record is highlighted in yellow. This is because the record does not specify the use for which the LMO has been approved, and a link is provided to access the decision. If you click on the Risk Assessments tab, a list of all the risk assessment records that have been made available in the BCH on this specific LMO will appear. Click on the Risk Assessment of Interest to access the relevant record. The same type of cross-referencing of records is provided in the Countries Decisions and Other Communications category. From that search page, click on the Browse All Records button. The results page shows all of the records contained in this section of the database. By selecting a record on the list, the decision information will appear. You will notice that there are two tabs at the top of the record. The one highlighted contains information on the selected record. If you click on the LMO Information tab, you will access the relevant record in the LMO Unique Identifiers Registry that the decision is based on. From this tab, you will again see the 